Hey everybody, welcome to another internet video from Happy Gamer. This is going to feature the last of the Tyranid formations from the data slate. And they've really saved the best for last. It's called the Living Tide. And uh, it's, it's, it's not even a formation. It's... It's a form ar army almost. Uh, it, it's amazing. I'm reading this, and in all of my time of playing 40k or any Games Workshop game, I've never seen something this uh, uh, elaborate and massive um, point wise. I, I, I think it's the most expensive thing you can possibly buy in the game. Seriously. Uh, so let's let's get into it. It's called the Living Tide, and this thing is not made up of units. It's made up of other formations. So the Living Tide formation contains one tyrant node. You're going to have to watch my other videos on formations to know what these are because they're not units, they're not broods, they're other formations from the other data slates. One tyrant node, one synaptic swarm, that's from the second data slate, Leviathan Rising, uh, three endless swarms, also from the second data slate, one wrecker node. That's from this data slate. And one Sky Blight Swarm. Yeah, uh, calculate up the points on that. that. That's like an army right there. Like I said, it's the most expensive thing I've ever seen you can buy in the game. Formation restrictions. The units in this formation must adhere to all of the restrictions detailed in each of the corresponding formation data sheets. Okay, that's good. Uh, the units in this formation retain all of the special rules specified in the corresponding formation data sheets. That's very good too. In addition, <laughs> in addition, the following special rules apply. Fear. Yeah, it just has that one word. So uh, I, I'm not sure what that means. I, I guess, does that mean all of the units now get fear? In which case, that would be cool. Uh, next, it goes on to say synaptic command network. As long as the hive tyrant from the tyrant node formation has not been removed from play as a casualty then all other synapse creatures for this formation, which would basically be your whole army, that are within its synapse range, add six inches to their own synapse range. Okay, so you're going to have no problem with synapse coverage with that. Uh, so basically that's saying all other synapse creatures that are within the range, the synapse range of the tier hive tyrant for this formation gain six inches to their formation. So they basically all become linchpins. Wow. Um, <clears throat> next, like that one wasn't enough. It goes really insane now. The swarm unleashed. As long as the hive tyrant from the tyrant node formation has not been removed as a casualty, you can re-roll failed results when rolling to see if a termagant, hormagant, or gargoyle brood from this formation that has been completely destroyed is replaced. To understand what that means, you're going to have to watch my Endless Swarm and Sky Swarm videos for the special rules but basically to give you a little heads up they get on a, on a four plus they get to have they they get to have their unit come back on the table next turn so this one the swarm unleashed is saying they get to re-roll any 
failed four plus roll for a unit regeneration coming in, which is insane. Wow. I mean, like I said, it's just it's just wow. So let's let's go and read the fluff on this one. Um, a living tide is a mass of tyrannid broods large enough to sweep aside the defenders of an entire city in a matter of hours. To the hive mind, casualties sustained in such action are of little consequence, for there will be plentiful supply of biomass at the battle's end to swiftly replenish its fighting strength. To face a living tide is to know abject terror for it can absorb losses almost indefinitely. The only hope for salvation is to pry apart the iron grip that the hive mind has over the will of its minions by targeting the leader beasts that compel the living tide ever onward. Yet, against this threat, the hive mind has an answer pouring forth its dominance into the tyrant node at the living tide's heart and channeling its will through a chain of command creatures, widening the synaptic network to compensate for rising casualties. Uh, like I said, this is this is amazing. Uh, it, it is a, a Tyranid army in a formation. Probably, as I said, the most expensive thing you can buy in 40, any 40k army list. Wow, I'd really like to see comments on this one because it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, let me know what you would do with it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!